Now that we understand what intents and entities are and that we created our first intent, now the next step will be to send a reply towards this intent. So if this intent has been triggered, now we need to send a reply and we can do so in two different ways. If we scroll down, then you will see that we have under the actions and parameters, we have a tab called responses. Under the responses, we can add several kinds of responses. There are a total of two types of responses. And if we take a look, then we see that we have a text response and a custom payload. So let's first cover the text response. A text response is as simple as entering a reply, right? So there could be something like this. So there could just be a confirmation message. What you can also do inside of a text response is send the values that the subscriber gave back towards the subscriber to let them confirm this. So we could say something like, so you could also say something like this. So to confirm you are looking for the car brand and with the model being car model from the year car year. And the way that you can send these replies to, so the values back towards the user is just by inserting the dollar sign. And then you'll be able to select any of the entities that has been captured inside of this intent. We save this intent and we are now going to check our chatbot to see if dialect flow is able to catch the intent of the car search. So let's head over to Messenger in this case and take a look. Before we head over to Messenger to check if this intent is working, we need to set the dialect flow training agent inside of UChat. The way to do this is by going towards your chatbot of choice. So for me, that would be my omni-channel chatbot and then go on the automation tab on the left hand side and then choose a subflow in this case. So I want to trigger this as a default reply. If I choose subflow, I will be able to select my training agent that we connected in the previous step. So in this case, it would be dialect flow UChat course. Now that we did this, we can head over to Messenger and test out if the actual car search intent is working. So let's see if we can match the intent. So dialect flow recognizes the intent. So let's type in, I'm searching for a car, for example. So I am searching for a car. And the brand, let's say, let's do BMW. And what model are you looking for? Let's say an X7. And from what year are you looking? So let's do 2008. So to confirm you are looking for a BMW with the model being the X7 from the year 2004. So you can see that dialect flow is able to catch the intent and match the actions and parameters questions and then also give the response back, right? But besides this text response, you can also do a custom response inside of UChat itself. So you can refer dialect flow to respond with a flow, a certain block inside of a flow instead of the text response itself, which gives a little bit more customization because you can also add images, you can also add GIFs instead of just a simple text response. So how does this work? It's pretty simple to do actually. So instead of this text response, let's go and delete this by going towards the trash bin. We can also add a new response and then go with a custom payload. Inside of this payload, you will see an open and closing curly bracket, which means that you will need to insert some kind of JSON body. Now, this might seem a little bit developer-like, but we'll also give you the code for easy copy and pasting. So the code that we need to use is really, really easy. So let's just remove the open and curly bracket, open and closing curly bracket, and then paste this code in. And this is basically the code that we need to use. So we have the content, and then we have the block name that we need to insert. And this is a JSON body that we need to use. Don't mind the uh, unexpected 
uh, errors because we need to have these in place. So if we go over to UChat, let's create a flow. Let's say this flow will be a um, live demo dialect flow. There we go. And now have a simple block and let's name this block uh, car search. Car and let's do underscore search. And then we could say anything we like to. So we could say something like this. Great, let me check the system right now and get back to you just a sec. So if we publish this and we go with just copy and pasting the car search name, the car search inside of this JSON field. So replace the block name with the block name that we just created, right? And let's save this. And let's see if we can trigger the response inside of the UChat flow. So let's try this again. Let's say I am searching for an Audi this time. Now it should ask what is the model that you are looking for because we already gave the brand name, right? So let's say we are going with an A3. And now it should ask for the year. What is your preferred year? Let's say 2010. And it should now come up with a custom response. And as you can see, the response came through with the response that we set up inside of UChat. So this is one part that you can use to customize responses. So we could also customize this and make it a little bit more appealing. So we could also insert some image, right? And if we go towards the image, we could also go with GIF and let's say cars. And we get the animation, of course. Let's say formula one. So let's go with this one, there we go. And then just add this to the mix as well. So if we try it again, we could see something like this. So let's say I am searching for uh, a BMW X7. And then it should all only ask for the preferred year. So for what year are you looking? Let's say 2008. And let's see if the custom response is coming through. So this might take a little bit because the GIF needs to load properly and then the response will be sent. But let's see if it works. And there we go. Great, let me check the system right now and get back to you just a sec, right? So this is a way that you can also send customized responses. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can do auto slot filling with UChat and Dialect Flow directly inside of your Flow Builder.